Hi guys, Professor Latimer here, the CC Mom Who Loves Science, and today I'm going to bring you the final project for Cycle 2, Cycle 2, Week 23, Hands-On Science Experiment, and that is Egg Protector. And this one is a cool kind of culmination of a lot of things that we've studied in new grammar and with some of our other science projects. So we've kind of put some of those things that we learned um, to help us with this project. So the basic idea behind the project is to be able to take an egg, a real egg, and protect it in a way so that when it's dropped from a certain height, it doesn't crack or break. And so your students will have probably a plastic egg to practice with, and then you'll have different supplies. So the guide rep, uh, recommends um, craft sticks, these popsicle sticks, rubber bands, uh, napkins. If you want to have more variety of supplies, you can. Um, you can use uh, like uh, cotton balls or pieces of tissue paper. Uh, just kind of think about, you know, uh, if there's other materials that you'd like to include for your classes. Um, and whether you want to each student to build their own egg protector or this might be a good one to have them work in pairs and kind of collaborate and make their egg protector. And so we want to protect an egg and you can think about kind of bring up examples like what are other things around us that are created to protect something. And you know if you get a, a delivery or a package in the mail if you order something online, does it come, you know, it comes in a box, right? It's got something that's got a structure. Um, and then think about what's inside the box. A lot of times they have padding in there, whether that's bubble wrap or, you know, those kind of air pillows with the plastic that's got the air, big air bubbles inside padding around it. And so think about, okay, why would a package need that? You know, if, as it's, you know, in the mail, as it's on the delivery truck, um, if it's even, you know, dropped on your doorstep, it needs to be able to protect what's inside, just like what we're wanting to protect is our egg. And so think about the things that you see um, protecting what you ordered. Um, or think about when you buy a toy from the store, it's usually in some sort of packaging um, and attached in some way to protect it. So if, say, the box is dropped, the item inside will still be okay. And so, I don't know, like if you think about um, toys at the store in a box, they're usually attached really well so they don't shake around or, or you know, it's, there's not a chance for it to be damaged. So think about those things as they're kind of designing their egg protector. And ideally these will all look different and it's just a lot of fun. So um, some of the new grammar things that you can talk about, you know, as they're building, um, definitely bring up the the Newton's laws of motion and what's what's happening there so when we drop an egg we drop an egg what forces are acting on it we have gravity of course um, but also think about the experiment where we had the paper discs we had a flat paper disc and we made one into a cone and we dropped those which one fell faster the cone did and we talked about air resistance and so um, and then we have Newton's second law, which is force equals mass times acceleration. So our egg is falling and it's gonna hit the ground with a force. Um, the mass, that's our egg, how much, you know, and we have two of the same eggs and we drop them at the same time, they're gonna hit with the same force. So the acceleration is something that we can change. Can we slow down our egg? Can, so think about the experiment with the two paper discs. What made the flat paper disc fall more slowly? And it had a greater surface area and those air molecules were bumping up against the flat disc and slowing it down. So think about if you have something like a piece of tissue paper, could you make like a parachute out of it and create you know a bigger surface area to to create more air resistance to slow down your egg. Um, Newton's third law states, with every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So think about the force of the egg. There's a downward force hitting the ground. So there's also a force from the ground 
pushing up on that egg. And so that's why if you just take an egg with no protection, it gets like flattened almost. Like it kind of looks like it's squished because you've got a force coming down, but you've also got a force from the ground pushing up. So is there a way that you could protect the egg? You know, think about a package like the bubble wrap or um, putting pom-poms around your egg or scrunching up napkins around your egg that will allow your egg to move a little bit, but it will kind of absorb that energy. And you talk about, okay, what are the two forms of energy? We have kinetic and we have potential. So when you're holding your egg in its um, protect, protection up high, that's got a lot of potential energy. And when you release it, that's when it converts into kinetic energy. So when it hits the ground, the energy is not created or destroyed, right? So that energy kind of, it's going to go back towards the egg because your ground is pushing up. And so there's, we have to have a way to kind of dissipate that energy. So it's not all going directly back into that egg. So if we have a lot of energy going back into the egg, that's what's going to make it crack and break. So just some things that you, you can talk about um, while the students are creating their designs. Um, talking about gravity and air resistance. And then um, on week 24, um, you'll get to test them and see, you know, okay, what design worked best and why? It's a really good time to ask questions. Okay, why did this design work better at protecting the egg? Uh, why did this design fall slower? Why did this one fall faster? Um, could we have done something differently? And so your students will, will design them using these plastic eggs and then make sure in their designs that you can remove the egg because um, on week 24 you'll be needing to put in a real egg so they can't just like tape it up or wrap a bunch of rubber bands and stuff around the egg so you can't access it because you need to have a way to check your egg um, and put the real egg in so make sure just with their designs that you could take the egg in and out um, but this was a lot of fun um, parents probably encouraged to help um, this offer some ideas or help them kind of put it together and there's no one right way to do this. Um, kind of the possibilities are endless. Just think about, you know, how, how can I protect this egg? Um, how can I increase the air resistance maybe to make it fall slower so there's less force as it hits the ground? Um, so lots of fun things to think about and lots of use of new grammar that we've learned. So this cycle has been really fun and I've been um, so excited to take this journey with you guys. And I hope you guys have an awesome week 24 testing all of your projects and an awesome summer. And I'll see you guys next time.